Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of fractions, decimals, and percents. This is standard 6.4G in the great state of Texas. We are using item number 3 of the 2023 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So, we have a salesperson selling eight items uh, to the last 25 customers. We need to turn that into a percentage, this eight out of 25. So, eight out of 25. First off, we need to see that this uh, can be viewed as a fraction, right? So, eight out of 25 can be viewed like this. So, our eight right? That's going to be our parts, and then the 25 is going to be the number of parts, our numerator and denominator. So how do we turn this into a percent, right? Well, there are a few different options, and I'll show you uh, which ones might be easier to you. It just kind of depends. It's a personal preference. So the first thing I look at when I'm changing a fraction to a percent is I'm looking to see, is there any way that I can turn my denominator into 10? 100 or 1,000. Because if I can do that, then it's going to be kind of an easy type problem. Now, this is why, because hopefully you're seeing place value, right? Hopefully you're seeing, you know, this is my ones place, but I've got my tenths place, so I'll write it like this my hundredths place in my thousandths place. So if I could change my denominator into 10, 100, or 1,000, right, then I will match one of these three spots. And then it should be pretty easy. So, you know, 8 out of 25, 25 is already larger than 10. That's not going to work. But I do have an opportunity here. Take a look at that 100, right? So if I need to change this fraction, I'm going to multiply it, right? multiply it by an equivalent fraction, and I want to get it to 100, I'm thinking to myself, well, 25 times what makes 100? Well, hopefully we're thinking, oh, 25 cents make a quarter, that's 100 cents. So 25 times 4 makes 100. So if I multiply by 1 over 1, remember, I'm not changing it, I'm just making it look different, because 4 fourths is a whole, when you multiply anything times 1, that's multiplication property of identity. Anything times 1 is itself. So this 8 times 4 is going to be 32. So really, these two are equal. This 8 25ths and 32 one hundredths. I'm just making them slightly look different. But this 32 one hundredths is helpful because now I can turn this 32 one hundredths into this decimal. So I'm going to put it right here, 32. I'm going to make sure that my last digit is in the place that says the name of the denominator, the hundredths place, right? And you always need a zero there. If there's nothing in the ones place, I don't really need this thousandths place right here. So I've got 0 0.32. Now I have it in a decimal. Moving it into a percent, right, is going to be pretty easy. You either multiply it by 100. Right, or you just move the decimal over twice. So it looks like we're going to have that 32%. Now, that's one way to solve this. If that doesn't work, sometimes you can't get your denominator into 10, 100, 1,000. You can always divide up. Always, always, always. Every single decimal works this way. Right, Or this fraction turning into a decimal. You take your 25, and you just divide it into the 8. Well, it's not going to go. But what you do is you start adding a decimal and zeros. Right, so that's going to go in three times. That's 75. And you just keep adding zeros until you're done. And look, that goes in twice. So there's your 50. So that if you're not into the long division, you can always try to find the fraction who has a denominator of 10, 100, or 1,000. But when in doubt, you can always divide up. That means you divide your denominator into your numerator. Now, we still have this, you know, 0 0.32 that's not a percent, right? You see we've got two different options here that have the 3 and the 2. Always move the decimal over twice to turn it into a percent or multiply it by 100, so our answer is B.